I have an extensive Lego collection in my basement. And this is something, this collection is something I've put a lot of time and money into, but also just something that sort of um, ama I've amassed over the years. As I've really just, it's, it's a thing that's just stuck with me uh, since my early adolescence. I still remember getting my first Lego set when I was about six years old. It was um, this little like knight's castle with a drawbridge. And I still have that set. And I, it's just, so, it's something that's meaningful to me. There's one, one thing when you get to a, a certain place in the hobby is it's, it's, it's space. That's the biggest concern. It's, you can have a lot of really cool stuff, but where are you going to put it? Over the years, the, the Legos have made them their home in various rooms in my house. I think it's as much as my mom can tolerate. And when they've, <laughs> the size of the collection has outgrown the space of the room, you know, originally I had my Lego collection really just in my own room when I was younger, but eventually it got to the, uh, the, the size where that was not a viable option anymore. I and mean, eventually it took over the basement as that was the, uh, biggest room that we had available at the time. Towards like the summer when school's winding down, it's when I really uh, I take a crack at actually fixing up the room and whatnot. Um, last year I did a full paint, full painting of it, which um, I didn't finish. We we don't really talk about the wall that hasn't been painted. Uh, I'll get to that. It'll happen this summer, I promise. Uh, one of like my um, crown jewels, so to speak, is this. Um, ver uh, this in the middle of the room is this cyberpunk city, which is uh, Ninjago City, and it's it's this giant, really elaborate um, technical city that's built all um, built on um, water, supposedly. <laughs> and um, that that that's one of my favorite things to showcase. Uh, probably one of the most unique things I have about the collection is actually um, what it looks like in the dark. And this is act, uh, this is a unique thing I've uh, took up, which is to actually incorporate LED lights into uh, my Lego sets. And what I would do is um, I, I buy a kit that has very small elect, um, small LED lights and wiring, and I have to elaborately configure the wires in between the bricks themselves so that the wires don't show within the model. And it's it's a very elaborate process, but the actual reward when you turn off the lights and you just and you can see this uh the stuff um just glowing and be able to peer in through the windows of things, it, it's it's there's no effect that there's nothing quite like it. There there are some very cool effects that can be gained from it, uh with like flickering fire or even like uh fully cycling traffic lights are very cool. And it's uh, really uh, reignited a lot of love in the hobby for me because I think it's just enhanced a lot of um, older stuff that I've sort of kind of gotten sick of looking at. And I think it um, quite literally makes you look at it from a, a new light. <laughs>